Hello everyone, Sue from Pokisutami here, and I'm your local community translator. In this video, we will be looking at some of the new characters that will be showing up in the upcoming Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. We will be looking at characters from both the Teal Mask and Indigo Disc. I'll be explaining the meanings of their Japanese names, and what their names could mean in connection to the greater Pokemon world lore. As always, please do hit that like button and drop a comment below on who is your favorite character and why. And while you're at it, please do consider subscribing if you're not yet subscribed. It all really helps a lot. Just a quick note though, this video will only be covering characters that have been announced pre-release upon recording. If we meet new characters while playing the DLC, I will make another video like this to dive into their name meanings and connections to the greater Pokemon world. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. First, let's have a look at the brother-sister duo, Carmine and Kieran. Carmine's Japanese name is Seiyu. Seiyu comes from the word Guoseiyu. It's a katakana form of the French word Grossiel. Sorry, I probably butchered that. But it means red currant a red berry that is a member of the gooseberry family. Katakana is one of the three Japanese alphabets. Katakana is used for foreign or borrowed words, not just English, but in this case, French. Hence why Carmine's Japanese name is a French word. Kieran's Japanese name is Sugui. Sugui is another berry related name. Suguri being the Japanese name for a gooseberry. I'm by no means a berry expert, but from what I understand, red cars are a part of the gooseberry family, meaning this sibling pair also has ties when it comes to their Japanese names. Interestingly, both names are berry related. While we know Carmine and Kiran will most likely play an important role in the Teal Mask, we don't currently know how important they will be when it comes to the storyline of the Indigo Disc. As heavily speculated though, perhaps one of the two will be the champion you need to face upon overcoming the Blueberry Elite 4. Which one do you think it will be? Moving over to Perrin, the super cool photographer who looks oddly familiar to a certain someone from a time long gone. Perrin's Japanese name is Sazae. Sazae comes from the word Sazae Ishi, which means pebble or small stone. Coincidentally, the certain someone from a time long gone has a Japanese name that connects perfectly to Sazae. Can you guess who? Yes, of course, it's Adaman, whose Japanese name is Seki, likely derived from the word Kongo Seki, meaning diamond. However, Seki just by itself means stone. This of course gives a lot of credence to the theory, beyond just appearance, that Perrin is a descendant of Adaman. However, unfortunately for all the Adaman Irida shippers out there, the name Sazare has no real possible connection to Irida's Japanese name, which is Kai, meaning pearl. But if you're interested in learning more about the names of some of the legend characters, Please check out my past video on the topic, it will be linked up above. Sairano's Japanese name is very similar to his English name. Instead of Sairano, it's Shiano. It likely refers to a specific name for blueberries, that being Sinocosis. Sorry, I probably messed up with that pronunciation as well. But nonetheless, it's a very suitable name for the principal of the Blueberry Academy. Like Sarano, Briar's Japanese name is pretty much the same as her English name, with only the pronunciation and spelling being a little bit different. Briar becomes Briar. Sounds almost identical, right? The meaning is the same. Briar is the term for some thorny plants. With a little additional searching, I also found that something called a briar root comes from a certain tree called a heath tree. This is interesting because heath is the name of the mysterious explorer who adventured into Area Zero in the past.
Lacey's Japanese name is Taro. Taro is a root vegetable with a mild lavender purple color. They can be cooked and eaten in various ways. With the flavor often appearing in sweet food, such as taro ice cream, taro bread, and taro milk. Interestingly, this ties in closely with the Japanese name of Clay, the gym leader of Drift Fail Gym in the black and white games, whose Japanese name is Yakon, which is another root vegetable. Another character whose Japanese name comes from a root vegetable is Lian, whose Japanese name is Kikui, coming from the word Kikuimo. Kikuimo is the Japanese name for the Jerusalem artichoke, a species of sunflower which is cultivated for its tuba, which is a root vegetable. It's near impossible not to see a connection with these three characters. Crispin's Japanese name is Akamatsu. Akamatsu is the Japanese name for the Japanese red pine tree, a large sturdy tree that is grown in areas around East Asia. While there are people who speculate he may have some type of relationship to the gym leader triplets or champion Alda from the black and white games, his name unfortunately has no real obvious ties to any of the other characters. However, this doesn't mean that a relationship doesn't exist. Emei's Japanese name is Nerine. Nerine is the English and Japanese name for the Nerine plant, a vibrant pink flower. While like Crispin, many people speculate that she probably has a relationship to a black and white character. In her case, being gym leader Lenora, the Japanese names do not have any connection or ties. But once again, this doesn't mean the relationship doesn't exist. And lastly, we have Drayton. Drayton's Japanese name is a bit of a long one. Kakisubata. Kakisubata is the Japanese name of the Iris Levigata flower. Sorry, I probably messed up with the pronunciation of this too. The Iris Levigata flower is a member of the larger Iris family. However, much like Lacey, Drayton's Japanese name ties him quite closely with not one, but two characters from the black and white games. The first, can you guess? Yes, of course, Drayden. Not only are their English names remarkably alike, their Japanese names are also similar in meaning, with Drayden's Japanese name being Shaga. Shaga is the Japanese name for a fringe iris, also known as a Japanese iris. The second is kind of obvious as well, that being Iris, whose Japanese name is simply Irisu, which is the katakana English for iris. So perhaps Drayden may be Drayton's grandfather. And that's the meaning of all the currently revealed characters from the Scarlet and Violet DLC. With the release of the DLC Part 1, the Teal Mask, just days away, it's possible that we may be introduced to more characters. If that is the case, I'll make another video just like this. So do make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and informative in some way. As always, please do consider dropping a like and checking to make sure you are subscribed. Also, please do leave a comment saying which DLC character is your fave so far. Please do let me know. With all that being said, it's time for me to say bye bye. Matane.